I think the main driving force behind commissioning the project was the need to understand what really made the management school different and, and better. When I joined in the summer of 2015, I knew that I was joining a world-class management school, but I didn't truly understand why that was or what words we needed to articulate in order to differentiate ourselves from our competitors. What I knew about what LUMS actually represented, what it was as a school, what its brand values were, it was not, it was not clear to me. And in that sense, if it wasn't clear to me, I'm hazarding a guess it would probably not be clear to people who'd not been part of the sector for that length of time. Talking to staff, students, academics, everyone said the same thing, there's something special here, but no one could quite capture it or articulate it in a way that was going to help the institution move forward. So that was the real task for us. I think that's what Adam and Angus challenged us to do, is find a way of, of, of identifying, discovering, and encapsulating this core essence of what the management school's about, what makes it special. We first worked with the management school back in 2014, and at the time, the university had made a visual branding change, moving away from the swoosh logo that they developed in the 80s back to their more traditional uh, shield brand. Obviously, the, the management school had to respond to that and, and were looking for a way to adapt to that change but retain the ability to, to have their own kind of brand values and build their own brand equity and their own visual identity. So that was the first piece of work. Then there was an opportunity really to take a step back from the kind of tactical marketing and really take a, a strategic deep dive to understand that what is it fundamentally makes LUMS different. From the initial um, defining of the brief through to the delivery of the report, there were a series of workshops that took place. Those workshops had different compositions of people, whether people were custom facing, student facing, whether they were directly involved in some of the delivery of what we do, or whether they were perhaps more back office or more strategic. It was important to us to have a, a scientific approach to the research that we undertook, and that's what, that's what Red Brick really brought with their expertise. I think the project was incredibly valuable and really shaped a lot of our thinking around our strategy of where we wanted to position and differentiate ourselves from our offerings. But a lot of our marketing comms before hadn't had, it had in a sense been all over the place. It was giving slightly different messages related to services. If it was for the MBA, it was giving one set of messages, it was for UG programs, another set of messages, it was talking to SMEs, a different set of messages. What this has done is it allowed us to draw all those strands together and have this core message that is then deployed. So there's a really clear brand proposition that runs across from undergrad, postgrad, research, corporate engagement and that is a huge that is a huge win and I think we're only just starting to see the benefit. One that I really am pleased about is I've got colleagues now using some of the language around the branding that originated from this this work and that must be the measure of its success that's actually been internalized by academics. So the work that Red Brick undertook at the outset has provided, if you like, the platform, the foundations for what we do. Two years, three years further down the line It'll, the work that's been undertaken will still recognisably be the red brick work, but it will have been built on literally brick by brick by brick to position alums where I want us to be for 2025.